In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to pin software to the taskbar. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And this method works by creating an XML file with the information about the software that we want to pin. For example, in my case, I'm pinning three apps, Windows Terminal, Windows Explorer, and then Google Chrome. And then using this configuration file as a template for our taskbar configuration. And in this configuration file, we can provide our apps that we want to pin by providing application ID or providing a link path to the application that we want to pin. Also, if you want to pin Windows Store applications, and for that you would need application ID, but you don't know the ID for that application, in that case, you can use the this PowerShell command that I have here. For example, if I click on the button right here to copy the snippet, then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows Virtual Machine. And if I open PowerShell, insert the command here, you can see that it gives us all the application IDs for the software that is installed on this machine. And the list is quite large and it's kind of hard to find the correct application that I'm looking for. And in that case, we can also use this command to search for the application by providing some text between the stars here. For example, if I type notepad, it gives us only a single entry with the application ID for the Notepad application. Anyways, I will go back to my GitHub page. And the last important bit about this XML file is here. And here I'm using a parameter pin list placement with a value replace. And this will remove currently pinned applications in the taskbar. And then it will replace that list with the list that we have in here. And without this parameter, it would not replace the currently pinned applications. Instead, it would append this list right here that we have with currently pinned applications. And that's basically it. Now, if I scroll down a bit, here you can see the PowerShell snippet that I will be using to configure everything. And this snippet will perform two actions. The first one is creating the XML file. And the second one is creating a registry settings necessary for Windows to take this XML file as a template for our taskbar. The XML file will be created in C program data provisioning folder. Here you can see the file name. And after the file is created, it will create two registry entries, start layout file and also blocked start layout. And that's basically it. Now to show you how this snippet works, I will click on the button right here to copy the PowerShell snippet. Then I will go back to my VMware workstation. And here I will open a PowerShell window, but this time I will run it as administrator. Then I will click yes here, I will insert the snippet from the GitHub page, press enter and the snippet executed successfully. And as you can see, I still have the default pinned applications in my taskbar and that's because for the settings to fully apply, we need to sign out and sign back in. So I will go to my start menu, I will sign out from my user. Then I will sign back in. And as you can see, now instead of the default applications, we have File Explorer, Windows Terminal, and Google Chrome. The same applications that we had in the XML file, as you can see here, Windows Terminal, Windows Explorer, and also Google Chrome. So everything seems to be working just fine. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.